pipes and got a little bit of electricity to boot. And um, I think we're ready for some people. So the main demand definitely is uh, residential right now. Just go ahead and paint in some of that. And we're going to want to have some commercial in here as well. But I think this whole spot right here initially is just going to be for people. And I do want to fill in over here. But only parts of it. You see, I'm just going for the spaces that are um, not connected to the highway pieces. Or like our little faux highway. That way people don't have to drive here and then take this like, you know, horribly convoluted route to get home. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. And for these open areas, I mean, if you want to. Space of intersections, put a couple in. Again, just a little bit more diversity in the buildings. Let's add some commercial over here. All right. That little area can be commercial as well. And we'll do up here. And then I'm going to have just a few buildings, just like that. And we'll definitely need a school and most likely a fire station. And probably a clinic, actually. I think we'll need the whole shebang over here. But we'll have to let the simulation run for a little bit, because I've just gone through like all of our money again. And then from there, we'll save up for a um, like a bus terminal. And I think those things are 30,000, so they're actually pretty expensive relative to our to our budget right now. So you don't want to build them too early. Otherwise, you're not really going to be able to sustain much growth. You'll just be kind of stuck at the uh, city size that you're at. Oh, we said we wanted to leave this open, didn't we? Um, let's try that. Let's see how it looks if we just put nothing but trees in here. We'll just play the, the test. You know, let's just leave it a nice wide open. We got plenty of space, right? What is the point of trying to push everybody into such a small area? Okay, so let's let that run. I'll actually put it up to three speed. <clears throat> actually, it's, uh, whenever I say three speed, I always chuckle because there's a bar that's maybe like a 10 minute walk or 15 minute walk from my house, and it's called three speed. And it's kind of a cool place. So whenever I go there, I'm always like, hey, cool, three speed. Or if I walk by it or something, I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Um, the other danger, we've talked about this before, is if you build a little bit too far out too fast, you can see you'll get buildings, like the commercial built first, and now there's no power. And these guys are probably going to complain and move out. But realistically, I'm not going to put power lines in. It's kind of a waste of money. I will, however, start putting services in now that we have the money. <clears throat> now, again, these, like, don't really put them on a one-way road because it'll kill your, um, like, the coverage. So that's a one-way road right there, and I have to go all the way to the end to get that coverage. So we usually put them in around the main areas. Just have them close to an intersection. Because if you have a really, really long stretch of road with a median, um, if a service vehicle wants to leave, it has to um, go all the way down to the next intersection before it can U-turn. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind. I think we're okay for garbage still. We're definitely going to have to get an incinerator the second we unlock that. And death care should be okay. It is, yep. And then fire. I think we're all right because, again, we're going to switch over to the uh, large fire stations once we get, um, get those unlocked. We will, however, give these people some water. Sorry, citizens. And are we out of power already? Oh, right. We just talked about that. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. It's early in the morning. I had to wake up early and make this video. I'm so excited. I like making content for you guys. You're like, honestly, this is really exciting. And I just, I love reading your messages. And you all have such pleasant things to say to me. So hopefully we're in it for the long run together. Like, hopefully this will just be the start of something great. And I feel like it is. And uh, like, again, yeah, like, I like you guys a lot. So I ain't leaving you. We're going to work on this together. 
and we're definitely we're definitely gonna make a lot of movies here and a lot of fun. Um, we gotta put a little bit more commercial down. Looks like kind of meet up with demand here. I think the area or the issue is that this area isn't getting its power, so these guys are kind of just doing nothing essentially. We'll put some over here. Because I think once we meet the commercial demand, that'll kind of pump the residential back up. And then just in terms of the uh, industrial area, I'm not going to add any more buildings until I see all of these symbols go away. They just show the, um, you know, like not enough workers. But um, in the interim, while this is filling up, let's um, go over some uh, some policies and stuff. So we already have our districts made. We did that in a previous episode. But we'll just expand this district a little bit. Just so we can include the new neighborhood that we're building. And earlier my idea was just to have one right now to start for residential and then one for the industrial. And uh, the industrial, there's no real um, specialization that we're doing right here. Um, so we're just going to keep that as it is. But um, oops. if you wanted to, like you could click, say this was like a like a farming area, you would just click here and then like look at your, um... oh actually this is a farming area. Um, oh, I'm very tempted to make this into a, you know what, though there's too much ground pollution. No, it's not going to work. And the dumps and stuff, I can't move them. But if you want to, like, you know, keep an eye on your, on your resources. And like, this is the area that you would build your farms in. Like these nice little pockets of fertile land. And then you can see we've got some um, oil and some ore over here. And then the forest is really just anywhere green. So the heavier the, you know, the trees, the better your logging industry would do. But we'll just stick uh, with the regular kind of industry right now. And I don't know if we have any policies we actually implement right now. Like if we wanted to, it would be extraordinarily expensive, but you could do a power usage one. And that basically is um, adding an, um, like a five credit upkeep to, um, oh, sorry, a five cent credit upkeep. So like whatever, five, five bits or whatever. I guess I want to use smaller terms here. Um, it becomes extraordinarily expensive, so I don't necessarily recommend doing it. It's just if you're in a pinch like this, you can um, enact it, and you'll kind of see the power problem just got fixed because everyone's using um, less power because there's now energy meters set in. But you'll notice your budget will just instantly start to drain. See how that's already gone down like 600, 1,000, 1,200. So it's, it's really, it's very, 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 very expensive. And it's just a short-term fix. So that put us back into um, that territory. Unfortunately, we do need some more power plants. These just aren't efficient enough to really warrant putting them in, though. I guess I'm six megawatts down here. They just look nice. So these aren't really doing a whole heck of a lot, but they're doing something. And they look nice, so we'll put them in. But let's go back to the policies. I'm just going to take this off because it's very expensive. Um, the only one I actually like to use, just because you get a little bit more of um, a boost for revenue, is I'll put the recreational use on. It does increase your police budget, but you get more tourists and stuff in the area. And if you wanted to, um, put the parks one, because that just makes like all the parks in the area work a little bit better, and people get more use out of them type thing. In the grand scheme, though, uh, most of the services, they end up costing quite a bit of money. So I don't end up using too many of them. And you can kind of see we haven't really unlocked these guys yet. When we switch over to the big city, um, I'll show you essentially a whole list of all the unlock services. Um, basically though, there's a few you can use um, pretty efficiently. Like if you want, um, I'll kind of show you in the, in the other one though. But basically you can create corridors or districts that have no, um, will have a ban on heavy traffic. So if you want to keep trucks off certain parts of your city, you would basically just, like, yeah, make a little district or whatever, and then just ban traffic, uh, or heavy truck traffic, and then cars would, you know, be forced to go back onto the highway and then get off at a different point. Oh, speaking of which, we've just unlocked that right now. Here, let me show you guys. Cool. I'll just pause this. So if I wanted no trucks in here, I would go to the policy, and I would heavy truck traffic ban. And so it will not affect the highway if it's running through your town, so it will force people into the town. And it just stops trucks from going on all these roads. 
But for us, we actually have to have the trucks come in because who's going to drop off things to the um, commercial buildings? So you got to be, you know, cautious on where you put it because you actually do need truck traffic. Like it is kind of an important thing. Just make sure you have, you know, just a good road network because that way the trucks, they're not going to be, you know, stuck in traffic idling too long, creating these loud, you know, pollution noise zones as they go through. You want an efficient uh, system, truck comes in, drops off its load, goes back to the highway quickly. And then same with the people. You want them to get to work really quickly, go find shopping really quickly, hopefully walk to it. So just, you know, keep all these things in mind when you're when you're laying out the city and the roads and everything. Just always think to yourself, how can I get someone to a bigger road faster? And what's the most efficient way to do it, you know? All right. Shall we do some more building, guys? I think you guys like that the most. So just a little bit more expansion down here. Uh, the old which way is straight trick, eh? I think that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Now this one, I will keep the curve alive. And we'll just exaggerate that a little bit like there. But again, we're just going to leave this little corridor here open because that's going to be, that's going to be the actual highway. All right, now I'm just connecting to a one-way road. So traffic is kind of forced to go this way. Again, because this is like our little mini highway in air quotes. If I want traffic to go over to here, um, you kind of see they got to go a little bit further in. So what we could do is, this might be a little bit extreme, but let's just try it for the sake of being fun. I'm going to go use a highway off-ramp. I'm going to build like a little fast turnover point. So we're going to go up, curve this. I have no idea how this will look. We'll just kind of see. Seems like it should work. It'll be kind of fun. And we'll just cut back on, um, on intersections. And we're just going to use this one right here. And when you use the highway on ramp, it won't create a traffic light, or at least most of the time it won't. And that's kind of fun. That way people come up. It's a nice little fast pace over. Because you can kind of see the roundabout, you can't get in this way. This is the outway. So again, this is just a little bit of a fun way to manage some traffic. So let's see how this actually performs. Let's do some zoning. Because like, like I said, I wanted to zone in the roundabout. So let's put some commercial in here. And let's just do some people on the outside parts. Now I'm not going to zone on the highway itself or like my little, you guys know the faux highway. I'm just going to zone on the roads kind of going in and out of it. And I'm going to have to look and see if there's a faster, oh, I just broke my rule. Oh, actually, no, you know what, let's, um, let's just fill this zone in, that's okay. I'm not going to do that one, though. I'm, I'm just curious, though, to see if this will... Because my thoughts for this is you have this road coming in to serve sort of these people, so traffic, hypothetically, might be okay. And, oh goodness, are we getting out of control here? I say we can also do... <laughs> I don't know, this is getting silly, maybe. Maybe the corresponding going... Around? Um, I'm nervous about where that bridge pillar is going to be. Who knows? Like, we'll just leave this. Like, honestly, who knows? I'm very curious to see if this will this will work. And then from this point, I'm just going to bring this guy over. And we'll just kind of close this off just a little bit here. And then we'll fill it in, we'll zone it, and then we'll put in some public transport. And then we'll have a, a little bit of a chat about that. Cool beans. Haha, <laughs> this is such an interesting idea. 
of fascinating. I wonder if it works. Unless let's just do like a road. Kind of runs along next to it. Now, whenever we get a long, long, long row of these one-by-ones or whatever, I like to kind of dot a few out, just so there's some some mix going on. Awesome. I'm very excited to see how this neighborhood's going to turn out. This is a really cool one. And what a bizarre layout with the roads. I'm feeling very creative this morning, it would seem. just about does it. Alright, let's go three speed again. And this will definitely need some service. Oh yes, we got the big stuff now. Oh, this is fantastic. This is what we were hoping to unlock. So, oh, and we have a lot of money too. Oh, things are just going great. That is fantastic. Okay, so hospital, we're going to put this nice and central because we want to have a lot of um, coverage. Awesome spot. And now what we're going to do is we're going to relocate. Actually, I'll keep this one here because it's going to help with the um, industrial area a bit. But where was that other clinic? I want to relocate that one just to our new area down here. And we're just going to go for the maximum coverage, which might be... Oh, that's not... That, that's a nice spot right there. Well, all right. And now, hopefully, okay, let's play around a little bit more with this. I know we have enough. Like, we don't really need to buy another clinic here. As long as we spread the coverage out properly. Yeah, that's, that's good. And watch this come online. That should be really, oh, fantastico. And death care, we'll have to address over here. Oh, okay, that's good does take away a little bit from the buildings, but that's good because it kind of bumps the land value too. And our police. Oh geez, we had so much money, now we don't. <laughs> Stuff is expensive, holy moly. Um, I see. Yeah, so to best service area, we're going to go right there. A little bit of a gamble, kind of put it on one of the highway pieces, but I don't necessarily think we're going to upgrade these. We might. Who knows? We can always move this again. And hmm. I'm trying to think of some more stuff we can do. Sorry, let's place that. Oh, actually, you know what? I would like this to go like that. There. Alright, so we got service. Oh, a school. Oh, oh and high school. Ah. Oh. We have got so much stuff to put in. Okay. But again, like these are things, just put them in. Don't worry about them. Let them do their thing. Schooling especially. You just want to make sure that just gets tackled right away. Alright. And we'll need a high school just for this neighborhood. Pretty darn good coverage, if I say so myself. <laughs> we unfortunately don't have enough money for a bus anymore, or a bus station. So we'll just we'll save back up and then we'll we'll put one down. There. Park two. Alright, so we'll let this build up. Kinda see how it goes. Let's um let's start a new district down here. And so or actually, um hmm. No, I, I do want to I want to extend this one. We'll make um we buy the next city tile, we'll make that a new new guy. And see what other policies we have right now we can use. Um, I like realistically if you want you can free public transport. We don't have any right now, so there's no there's no need in my mind for it. But if you really want to encourage people to use public transport, put that on. And uh, you don't get ticket income from it, unfortunately. So 
your public transport ends up costing you much, much more. And the other one I sometimes use is just parks and decorum, or parks and decoration, I should say, just like, uh, or the parks and rec, oh my goodness. Parks and recreation, um, that one, it'll just, yeah, boost the value and the efficiency of the parks that are within that district. And people, they are park crazy in this game, so they love that a lot. You see, I've got to do a little bit of zoning here to encourage the power lines to kind of make their way down. So forget what I said about protecting this in terms of no zoning. I guess we're going to do a little bit of zoning.